You know, working alongside Brush King, I've met a lot of interesting people, and I learned a whole bunch of new things, including this trick right here. Now, I'd never forget the day that I actually got the chance to meet Remy LeBeau. Now, some of you guys may not know who Remy LeBeau is, but let me just tell y'all the story about how I met Remy on the way to pick up this next royalty brush. So, Brush King asked me to meet him at this bar one night, and little did I know, Wolverine showed up to the place. He was looking for Remy. Are you Remy LeBeau? Now, as I was sitting on the side, I saw that they was having a conversation about the royalty drops. So what brings you to our fair city, sir? Now, Logan mentioned that he was trying to get Remy's brush, but Remy wasn't having it. Just need to know where it is. Why would you think I know that? But if y'all don't know who Remy is, then let me introduce y'all to Gambit. Yo, what it do? It's your boy J. Lou, and you guys are just in time for something new. All right, now in today's video, the brush that I'm gonna be talking about, this brush right here, this is the Royalty 707. Now, just like I showed you guys in the intro, I'm gonna go ahead and nickname this bad boy Gambit. And the main reason why is because whenever I looked at the paint job on this brush, it just reminded me of Gambit's color theme, you know what I'm saying? Whenever I was growing up, waking up on Saturday mornings was one of the greatest things as a kid because all of the best cartoons came on Saturday morning. One of my favorite cartoons was X-Men. Now, Gambit wasn't my favorite, but... When I look at this paint job, as you guys can see, this paint job is like, it's like a darker pink with those silverish streaks, you know what I'm saying? Now, I know a lot of people are really excited because when you also look at these bristles, these bristles are definitely the darker black and brown board bristles that a lot of people look forward to. And with that being said, I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering what this brush is. This is a seven row medium firm brush. When this brush was made, it was made to have a similar feel of the Roy T 760, which was the brown medium brush back in the day, you know what I'm saying? As well as the Roy T 760, 770, which was the teal royalty brush, you know what I'm saying? Now, I know off top, the teal and the brown brushes a lot of people gravitated towards because of the simple fact that a lot of people just love medium brushes, especially medium firm brushes in that spectrum. Now, when it comes to using this brush, the main reason why you would want a medium firm brush is because this brush is a workhorse. What that basically means is this brush has amazing pull. At the same time, because it's a medium, this brush will help distribute the natural oils along your scalp. Another thing I want to point out with these brushes is, like I said, because this is a seven row brush, when it comes to seven row medium brushes on up, I don't recommend vertical brushing with these bad boys. When it comes to brushing your waves, what I prefer and what I encourage people to do is just simply brush with this face of the brush. So what that boils down to is I'm always brushing my hair like that i'm never gonna vertical brush my angles you know what i'm saying i'm gonna get into a brush session a little bit later but the next thing i also want to do is be able to go forth in a little bit more detail to show you guys the firmness compared to the other royalty brushes and i know a lot of people also want to know the differences in regards to the bristle length so let's not waste any more time and let's just jump straight into the comparisons all right now when it comes to the five brushes that i want to compare it against as you guys can see this is the 711 this is the kraken this is a hard brush this is the kobe bryant this is the 710 you know what i'm saying as y'all can see See right in the middle is the 707 right here i believe this is the 705 and then this is the 706 now like i told you guys on this side these are the brushes that are slightly softer and then these brushes are the brushes that are slightly firmer all right now one of the things that i want to point out is when it comes to determining the firmness of these bristles bristle length does play a major factor when it comes to hard brushes one thing that you guys will notice if you take a look at the 711 versus the 707 these bristles are a lot shorter than the bristles on this brush so that basically means that these bristles will be a lot stiffer you know what i'm saying whenever i compare it with the kobe bryant as you guys will see both of these bristles are about the same length with that being said the only reason why i say this one is a little bit firmer than this one is because the nylon bristles on the outside face are definitely firmer than all of these bristles but depending on how you use your brush some people may say this one is slightly softer than this bad boy now when it comes to the brush that's the closest to it but it's slightly softer now one thing i want to point out when it comes to the 705 versus the 7 
707. As you guys can see, the 705, even though the bristles are slightly shorter, these bristles just seem slightly firmer than the 705. And then as I already know with the 706, when you look at both of these brushes, both of these brushes, the bristlings are the exact same length. You know what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, because this brush has longer bristles than the Steph Curry brush, you would definitely be able to feel a lot more pull. And at the same time, because it is not as firm as the Kobe Bryant brush, as well as the Kraken brush, you will be able to use this brush more so in your session. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to this brush, you may not want to use it on a fresh cut. You may want to wait till you're like two weeks after your cut on up. You know what I'm saying? Depending on your hat texture, you can use it whenever you want, whenever it's best. But for me, this brush will go into my main lineup, mainly whenever I'm two weeks on up after my cut, as well as deeper into my wolf. Now with this brush, you don't only use it at early stages of your wolf, you can also use it into the later stages of your wolf because it feels like a medium firm. All right, now I showed you guys the firmness on the spectrum level and everything like that. But another thing I want to do is compare it against the Royal T709. Now I know a lot of people are looking for this brush. And when I did the review, I probably should have named this bad boy Kratos because now I'm just getting that vibe. You know what I'm saying? No place for a boy. I don't think I ever really nicknamed this bad boy. I just basically did the comparison, which you'll be able to uh, find the link right above here. Now, with that being said, you will clearly see that the bristles on the 709 are clearly longer than the bristles on the 707. And what that basically means is this brush will feel like it has greater pull. What I mean by pull is whenever you're brushing your hair, stretching your curls out, because the bristles are a lot longer, it's gonna feel like it's continually stretching your curls out. And that's one of the main reasons why I always tell you guys to make sure you brush slow. And then the last brush that I wanna compare to, some of you guys may not have this brush, but some of you guys may. This is the Torino Pro. This is the 6456. Now this brush is a medium hard brush, but because I've had it for so long, I've been using it, I've broken it in, and it doesn't feel like a medium hard brush. But the biggest thing I wanted to point out is the fact that when you look at these bristles, the bristles on this brush are slightly shorter. You know what I'm saying? So back when this brush was in its prime, this brush was definitely firmer than this bad boy right here. All right, with that being said, I'm pretty sure you guys have all the information you need to know in regards to the brush. So let me go ahead and take this do-rag off. You know what I'm saying? I got my Migos glasses on. I got my Migos shirt on. You know what I'm saying? I want to give a big shout out to my brother. When it came to my birthday, he blessed me with this shirt. You know what I'm saying? So, but let me go ahead and unrag and get into a brush session. All right. So when you're using this brush, like I told you, always brush your hair very slow. I'm not going to go into a full brush session, but I'm going to show you guys an update with my pattern. All right. So as you guys can see, this is my left side. Man, your boy, I'm making hella progress. As y'all can see, my hair is definitely looking healthy. It's definitely looking shiny. The connections are coming in. They're lining up and everything like that. And it's only been nine weeks ever since I cut my hair low, you know? So with that being said, whenever I wanna brush my hair with this bad boy, what I always do is I start off kind of like right here in this area. I don't try to go too, too far back unless I'm brushing in this angle so I can see my crown. But when it comes to my left side, I'm basically gonna hit this angle straight like that and go towards my temple area. And one thing I wanna say about this brush is because this brush is a medium firm, one thing that you will notice is it will lift your hair up. So you don't wanna use this brush as soon as you unwrap. Now from that angle, what I'm gonna do is basically just brush the top straight like this. You know, you know what I'm saying? Just to get those connections to line up. And then as I make my way a little bit more over here, what I'm doing is I'm just slowly angling it a lot more. And then when it comes to my right side, what I'm gonna do is brush down into my right side right here at the top. And then once I'm done with that angle, I'm just brushing straight down just like this. All right, now when it comes to me lining up this area right here, what I'm gonna do is basically use the corner portion of the brush. So I'm gonna just use this back portion right here and just slowly tap my crown, go down like that. For the back portion, I'm just gonna brush it as if I was trying to go for 720s right here. And then just for the straight back, what I'm doing is I'm brushing down right here and then I'm brushing it straight across over like that. And like I told you guys, the closer I get to my crown, then the more I use only the corner portion of the brush. Now, because we have all these different brushes, I know a lot of people typically have questions about their crown. If you haven't seen my review of the 902, I'll make sure I leave a link right above here. You know what I'm saying? The 902 is the pointy medium brush. I would definitely encourage you to check it out because that's one of the main brushes as well as the 903 that I've been using to tighten my crown up. And as you guys can see, just looking at my crown and just looking at my waves, 
they are definitely coming in real crazy. One of the biggest things you want to focus on is making sure your crown comes in very good, you know? So once your crown is coming in good, then you can focus on your connects if you really want to have elite waves. All right, so with that being said, that wraps up the end of this video. Now, the last brush that I want to compare this bad boy against is against the 707. And with that being said, y'all already know it's time for another giveaway. So down in the comments below, after you type in your comment, make sure you put the hashtag Gambit. You know what I'm saying? And once I saw this brush, it just took me back and I was like, man, I'm about to kill this intro. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all definitely enjoyed the intro, make sure you leave a like. I appreciate all the support thus far. I appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me. I definitely have some reviews coming in regards to do-rags and a few other products. But like I told you guys, I don't have that much time. So the time I do have, I try to dedicate it towards making these videos. So with that being said, it's your boy J. Lou. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Salute. Come brush with me, hey. What I do, Lou is the name, I'm so off the chain, Torino is the brush, do wet wood grain, brush a wave I have some, brush a wave I have some, brush a wave I have some, brush a wave I have some.